Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Passions Podcast Post Show Couch. We hope you have your blankets ready and are snuggling up for the cozy season. Yeah, we're here to talk about passions. So we're going to talk more about passions. We've already <laughs> talked about passions for two full hours today. Like, <laughs> but it's not enough. I guess not. No, no. no. <laughs> it is not enough. We're going to read a message from a new listener, Sheena. Oh, nice. All okay. right. I haven't heard this yet. So. They say, or I'm assuming, well, I'll say they. They say, hi there, ladies. I found your podcast a little more than a week ago, and I'm absolutely obsessed. My friend thinks it's crazy I spend time just listening to you guys without playing a game on the side or something. I told him that you guys do such an amazing job that I can just close my eyes and remember these scenes in my head from having watched when I was younger and a bit a few years ago on a YouTube channel that got shut down. I love your opinions on the scenes. I have actually laughed so hard out loud. My favorite person was always Teresa, the lovable lunatic. Yes, I like you, Sheena. (laughs) She was my very first female crush. My mom always poked fun at me for being so into watching the girl who's always crying. (laughs) That's all right. She's beautiful when she cries. The girl who's always crying. I love it. After the holidays, I will absolutely be finding a tear on your Patreon, especially for the new stuff, because I'm going through it so fast. Uh, anyways, thank you for helping me relive better days in these unsure times. Keep doing exactly what you are. Rigi, Rigids, regards, Sheena from Ontario. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Sheena. Yeah. That's such a nice that message. message. That made me so happy. Yeah. Especially that they're like, I love Teresa. I love anybody who loves Teresa. Yeah. If you love Teresa, you're on the, you're, I'm, I'm you're on on the right show. I'm on board. I just, I just feel like I was talking to somebody the other day, <clears throat> and one thing that I've noticed multiple people have done this to me now um and it's it's along the same lines where i'll be talking about like the housewives or something mm-hmm. and it's a person i've just kind of met or we don't know each other that well and they'll, they'll say like well who's your favorite housewife ah and they and so that's how they kind of figure out like who you are and, yeah. and one woman was like <clears throat> oh, she asked me who my favorite is and i was like i you know i said these are kind of my favorites but i can't stand this one kenya moore I can't stand Kenya more. That's who I can't stand. <laughs> anyway, and she was like, yeah, then we can be friends because I don't trust anybody who likes Kenya more. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I feel like it's the same thing with like Teresa it's where I'm true. like, I can, I feel like we, we have a starting place of, of trust if that, <laughs> if you like Teresa and love Teresa, but we going to have some issues if you're like, I'm team Gwen. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you. <clears throat> if you've seen the whole show and you think, mm, Gwen's your favorite. I haven't seen the whole show. And I go back and forth on Gwen. Like, I honestly, I mostly feel bad for Gwen. She says some shitty things, and I'm like, that's shitty to say. But mostly, at this point, I just kind of feel bad. Although now I'm starting to be like, Gwen. Gwen. What, what are you doing, Gwen? But I, haven't, but I haven't seen the whole show, so I don't mm-hmm. know. But I get what you're saying. It's like, it reveals a lot about who you are. Mm-hmm. Like if somebody's like, I love Ramona Singer. Uh-uh. Right? You like Ramona Singer. I liked Ramona. I did like Ramona for like the first couple of seasons. She is too fucking crazy and selfish and pushy. I do not like Ramona. Yeah, I know. I'll and leave it at that. Like Ramona. Don't like Ramona. Don't like Ramona. Nah. Reveal, no. Revealing. Yeah, you know what? I'm not well enough caught up on New York. I'm, I'm behind. I stopped at like season, but I stopped at like season five or oh, six. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm only a couple seasons, but be- I'm a couple seasons behind on everything these days. But yeah, I'm I haven't seen New York. I think I saw the first season. Bethany left. Okay, so I might be like two, three, four seasons behind. The Either first way. season, Bethany left. Either way, I've seen a lot Whatever, of Whatever, it doesn't and matter. Yeah. Sucks. And she's never going to leave that fucking show. Mona sucks. All right, you got another Instagram message? Got another message? little message. Massage. All right, so Andrew and I were talking a little bit, and uh, he was asking about the, the new um, K, who the actress's name is Deanna Wright. Deanna the Wright. The new K that we just the got. The new K that we just got in this group of episodes. And I was like, oh, yeah, she's great, and uh, blah, blah, blah. And he said, yeah, I hated that temporary K. Mm-hmm. And he, he, re- but he really likes this person that we're on now and said, I, I hated that K almost as much as Fancy Crane. I don't know if Latara remembers her, but I hate her the most. I remember <laughs> Fancy Crane. Well, I'm not going to get too much into it, but fa- like Fancy's just, Fancy's just Dollar Tree Sheridan. Ah, uh, like, okay, all right. Fa- Fancy's just not, yeah, I, Whatever. All right, she's Dollar Tree Sheridan. Yeah. So I'm I'm feeling like she's Sheridan 
from earlier episodes. We're Basically, just shitting on we Sheridan. Shit on Sheridan. Yeah. So I'm probably going to shit on Fancy. And then Andrew says, also, you need to rank the guys in intelligence. If that hasn't happened yet, I'm still behind. Because I came across a Reddit post asking who the dumbest male character on Passions was. And that's when I realized they're all fucking stupid. They're and then all so dumb. Three emojis of this. <laughs> <laughs> they're all so dumb. Do you have the Reddit post? I don't have Do the Reddit post. I don't have I, the Reddit sh- post. I should look at that. I didn't want to be swayed. We're so, back. We made a list. I made a list. <laughs> I have to quickly write down a list of all the men in, in, in Harmony. So we have TC, Chad, Sam, Hank, Ethan, Julian, Luis, Miguel, Reese, and Alistair. That's everybody, right? I think that's everyone. It does feel like I'm missing somebody. It does, but I can't imagine who it would be. Because if we go through the families, Lopez Fitzgerald is Luis Two and Miguel. Boys. And the Russells don't have any boys besides the TC. TC. And the Bennetts have a son we haven't we met. We haven't met. And then and there's, there's Sam, Sam and Hank. And then... The Cranes, it's Julian, Alistair, and Ethan. Yeah. I think that's... And then we've got Chad. It. And then we got Chad. Doing his yeah, thing. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, who's the dumbest? I Okay, let's start at who's the smartest. I was going to say, let's work backwards. And I think Chad is the smartest. Well, I, but then he let himself bleed out all over town. I think Reese is the smartest. I think Reese is the smartest. <laughs> I think the high school boy is the smartest. I think he's always doing research. He's already figured out that Tabitha is probably three hundred years, years old. <laughs> he's seen the pendant a time. Yeah, I think he's he's the man when it comes to bugs. He saved everybody on the boat. He saved everybody on the boat. Yeah, Reese. Reese. I is think the smartest. Reese is the smartest. Reese is the smartest, which makes sense. Then who comes after that? Alistair. Yeah. Like he's got He's a mastermind. He's like the ma- yeah, he's like the puppet master. And so I don't know if he's actually the smartest, but he's pulling a lot of strings and he's got what am I trying to he's, he's got a lot of plates spinning all at the same time and he's able to basically keep them there. Yeah, and we don't know him well enough yeah. where he's not like a character involved in the storylines as yeah. much as he's just a character saying like, Julian, you need to do this, you know. Yeah, so I haven't seen him like w- w- like decision making and working and being smart in these ways, but I think to keep all of his plotting in order, there's got to be some brains behind it. Exactly. I was about to say the exact same thing, where I was like, he had to get this far in life, mm. being as devious and disgusting as he is, he has to have had been able to make plans and see them through and things work out for him. Well, know? I think to be devious, that there is a certain level of intelligence behind that. Yeah. You know, if you're just stupid, then you're not going to be able to, to do it all. Yeah. Keep not it gonna all be able going to pull it off. Yeah. So, okay. Reese, Alistair, those are the, our two t- smartest mm-hmm. as we, that we think. Um, ugh, who comes after Alistair as far as smarts? I mean, I think you might be onto something with Chad. I think Chad too. I think he's a smart kid. I think he is led astray. I think he's had very well. He's also had very little guidance. I think he's mm-hmm. doing his best. He, like he's gotten himself this far. He yeah. figured out from like a little slip of paper that he's probably from Harmony, and he had the cojones to just go go there and find mm-hmm. out. And he's just been making it on his own all this time. He like mm-hmm. managed to get himself into the rec- uh, into the music industry, even though he also got himself kicked out of the music industry. Yeah. But um, that temper. But you know, he's a kid. But he mm-hmm. has still been able to kind of try and make things of himself mm-hmm. and okay chad, we'll put chad there he did almost bleed out all over harmony but he was also confused because he was bleeding out yeah yeah so i, I mean there's some stu- stupid shit but he's still he's like you know 17 18 i think i'm gonna get some pushback for this i think hank's next i don't think you're gonna get any push okay okay i think hank for the is same next. for this uh, hank hank sucks and hank is annoying and hank hanks everyone but much like Alistair, in order to keep his devious uh, plans in motion, there has to be a certain level of, of smart behind mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm, a certain mm-hmm. level of smart behind it. Like, that sentence was yeah. stupid. But you know what I mean? I agree 100%. So we're going to put Hank there. Like, his best friend doesn't know that he's trying to kill the person that he says he loves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one knows, Nobody actually. Nobody knows. Oh, we forgot Roger. Well, well does not he really, count? If, not, if, Roger, he counts. if Roger counts, then like Pierre counts. I don't think he counts. I don't think he Maybe counts. that's what we were thinking. He's such a side character. Super side super character. Side. Like yeah. Reese almost doesn't count. Yeah. Except that but he's he lives sm- in harmony. He lives in the, and he's the smartest. Yeah, and he's the smartest. <laughs> right now. Things could change. 
Yeah. Things are often changing. Things change, Joe. Things change, Joe. Okay, Hank. Then this is this you this is where the, it gets really tough. You know who's at the bottom of the list? Frank. <laughs> Frank doesn't count, but I'm gonna put him down. The here. way you said Hank made me think of Hank and Hank Frank. Hank and Frank. Their restaurant. Hank and Frank. Remember their potato restaurant? Oh my god! I still... <laughs> Here's some hot potatoes. The potato crate. Plain potato. Was that what it's called? I don't remember. I think, yeah, I think so. I don't even know why we said that. Because all the what? Yeah. What the fuck was that? I don't remember. It's hilarious though. I remember. La- I'm oh, it's making you crate. laugh. You because I remember so many, laughing, but I don't remember the joke. You have all kinds of different types of potatoes, and they just bring you plain <laughs> potatoes instead of bread <laughs> to the table. What a stupid joke. Hilarious. It's I'm funny, I'm laughing. Though. It's so funny. Oh. In Harmony, they have the lobster shack. The, they chicken used to coop. Have the, yeah, the chicken coop. They used to have the burger hut. Mm. And now the potato crate. Now the potato crate. The potato crate. Okay. All right. So, um, I think after Hank comes... Who's left? Julian, Luis, Miguel, Ethan, and Sam, and TC. I think Sam comes next. All right, I'm gonna have to work through this one. This one's actually kind of tricky. Sam, this is tr- this is very tricky because the thing about Sam is he's a he's really bad at his job. Mm-hmm. And um, like he didn't. Oh, I just realized I kind of was on oh, my yeah. mic. Sorry, everyone. Um, Hope you can hear me. Yeah, it's okay. He's really bad at his job, and um, the co- the whole cocaine thing uh-huh. with Crystal, and then I mean, what's her name? Flat out told him that Ethan is his son. Right. And the time the time lines up. I don't care if Ethan wasn't born prematurely. The time lines. The time up. lines up. It's, um, en- it's enough time for that baby to be yours. His own wife is saying how much Ethan looks like him. Yeah. I mean, the only other person I think it could be would be TC. And the thing about but TC. But the thing with TC is that everyone's lying to him and he can't figure it out and it's very obvious. Everyone's lying to him. He can't figure it out. But also on top of that, he has this fucked up bum knee that he won't let his physician wife look at and help him fix and like. He won't. He just won't go to the doctor. Right. He just won't. Be so seen. that's idiotic. That's so stupid. It's so dumb. I can't. Like I cannot in good in good faith and in good conscience put TC under Hank. Yeah. I can't do yeah. that. Let me look at this list. Yeah. It can't be Ethan. It can't be Ethan. It Miguel? can't be Julian. Miguel is dating mm. someone who's tried to murder him. Miguel's a it, Miguel's But she also brought him back to life. Miguel's also no, the town himbo. himbo. He's so he he's is so the dumb. town himbo. So nice and so dumb. So so nice and so dumb. Honestly, I think he might be the dumbest. dumbest. I think he might be I think the he dumbest. Might be the dumbest. I think Miguel Miguel's definitely the Miguel's definitely the dumbest. If not Miguel, then definitely Miguel. <laughs> Mick, I'm gonna go ahead and put him down here because here, here, and here's why I sweet, say Miguel. Sweet, sweet, sweet as pie. boy. Sweet dumb. as apple pie. Dumb as a box of hair. Sweet as apple pie on the Fourth of July, but he is a moron. Yeah. Cause this girl is weird, and he, she has like tried to murder him a couple of times, and mm-hmm. he knows it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he knows it, and he was there, and he was there, <laughs> and he was he there, knows it. and he was awake, like he was just and he like, knows. Yeah, we're just not going to tell anybody you strangled me. You oh weren't in boy. your right mind. You're not in your right mind You because you don't have one, yeah. Miguel. Yeah. So Miguel's the dumbest. He's so now dumb. so now we're vying for second dumbest. Okay. Who, so, who, yeah, now let's work backwards. Let's work from the dumbest up. So who okay. comes? Who's dumber, Julian or Ethan? Silence. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think that's I think that's second place for who's dumbest for sure. But I don't know which one goes there. Let, well, let's work this through. Ethan's dumber because Ethan had no clue he was in love with Teresa. He just didn't know it. But he also has a law degree. Although, but it's Julian probably, probably purchased does. for him, and Julian probably does too. Yeah, Julian probably has a business degree. Otherwise, he'd be in politics. Because Ivy wants Ivy made sure Ethan had a, a law degree so he can go into politics. politics. They started talking about his political future yeah. again. So, yeah. But either way, they both have They're both Ivy dumb League dumbs. De- They both have Ivy League degrees. Yeah, they both were in the college admission scandal. Yeah, so I 
personally. But then Julian, it's Julian. It's Julian. Julian. Does, it's he Julian. just bungles everything. It's he's Julian. Just, he's such a fucking Because you buffoon. know what I just thought about? That fucking mask in his desk drawer. Remember when he and put the, Martin in the basement? Yes. It's Julian. It's Julian. It's Julian. It's Julian. It's Julian. He's so stupid. <laughs> he's so dumb. Then comes Ethan. You know what? It's Julian because he's had he's older and mm-hmm. therefore has had more opportunities to fuck up. Yeah. I bet they're actually tied. It's just that Julian has messed up more because he's got 30 years on, on Ethan. Yeah. So now we got to figure out where we went rank Luis, Sam, and TC. I, I think, think in that order. Lu- Luis, Luis is smartest. Ooh. I'm sorry. Which order are we going in? Smartest was, to dumbest or dumbest to smartest? I was, I was thinking dumbest to smartest. But then Luis is right. Yeah. Lu- he makes questionable choices on how he does things. Although he doesn't know his sister's been working at the Cray Mansion for a year. Mm. I, I honestly, I think Luis falls under Hank, then Sam, then TC. Because... Sam, Luis and Sam are both bad at their jobs, but I think Sam is worse at his job than Luis is. Sam did find Grace's twin sister in 10 seconds. 10 seconds on that, on the missing persons chat room. That is true. He found a missing person. But you know what? I, I, I do that, do that shit all the time. I find people on the internet all the time because that's the kind of person I am. Mm. I'm, I am very good at finding people's Facebooks and their Instagrams and their hidden things. On the internet. I'll just I think Louise search. is the smartest because all of the times that Sher- Sheridan was in danger and everyone was like, she's not, he knew that she he was. He knew she was. I think Louise comes I right Louise after Hank. I think Louise is after Hank. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Louise, huh. then. This is illuminating, actually. Then Sam and then TC. Yes, only because TC is willfully doing dumb shit and Sam doesn't realize he's doing dumb shit. And that makes him stupider. Yeah. In my opinion. If you know you're doing a dumb thing and you continue yeah. doing that dumb thing, then you're dumber than the person who doesn't know they're doing the dumb thing. All right. So from smartest to dumbest, it's Reese, <laughs> then Alistair, then Chad, then Hank, then Luis, Sam, TC, Ethan, Julian, Miguel, Frank. I'm going to have to make a graphic for this. Yeah, we're going to have to make a I'm graphic. I'm going to make a graphic. And this is this will probably change. It's been a while since we've did the the good evil. I love this thing. though. We got to do something. We, we should do. We should update that. But this is great. I wonder what the Reddit says. I do too. All right, let me pull up the Reddit. Let's see. I, I don't. He didn't send a link, but let's see. Reddit. Uh, dumbest male. I keep grabbing it, reaching passions. for my phone, and it does not. It's let's not over just here. See, let's just see if this pulls anything up. A fruitless search. Yeah, we couldn't. We we couldn't find it. <laughs> We couldn't find the Reddit, but I think our list is the definitive list now anyway. Obviously, we are the, <laughs> we we are the, the, authority. We're the authority on passion. We are the authority on passion. <laughs> At least for the people who watch us, I guess. That's we not are true. the authority. The okay. authority. I, you know, I love making lists like this. Remember when we did the 90 day list? Oh, I love, yeah. Of who was the worst the couples worst? and who was the best couples? Oh. I love making lists like this. Oh, me too. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to that at some point because we watched Got new so couples. much 90 days. We have a shit ton of 90 day to watch. We have too. so much. We have, we have a lot. I'm behind on all TV. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, so here, that's our list, that's of, the, our list. of the dumbest. Uh, dumbest men in harmony. Dumbest to smartest. smartest. To the dumb, dumbest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll have to do. We'll have to do more lists. Yeah, I love. We'll make some. We'll come up I with some list, list topics. If there's something you'd like us to uh, weigh yeah. in on, let us know. Yeah. What list should we make next? All right. Yeah. So with that, you, you are my passion, passion for life. I can't believe we 